Life is a continual act of perception and analysis of the physical world. We live each moment with a preconceived notion of everything we encounter. We jump to conclusions using assumptions and knowledge gained from experience. How we perceive an object is determined by past encounters and influence of a general consensus. Our experiences are tainted by the influence of society on our awareness of the world. However, Edmund Husserl believed it was possible to rid ourselves of all preconceptions pertaining to the objects of our world. This is what Husserl referred to as reduction, the aim to eliminate presuppositions and to turn experience into pure phenomena. Pure phenomena is experiencing the essence of something in pure consciousness. In other words, we are free from thought and reasoning, taking something in as it presents itself. Think about how a recently born baby would process the world in front of him. He sees an object and may observe its shape, color, or any other significant physical quality, but does not use any knowledge to observe the object, but relies on the object itself to trigger a responsive sensation. When we don't use assumptions in regard to an object, we see its basic nature, its essence. Pure phenomena is our awareness of things rather than words, and to our understanding of the world rather than of language. Husserl was concerned with the threat that presuppositions pose to direct and immediate awareness of essences. Scientific and even common knowledge prejudice the influence of an object in the consciousness. Husserl determined that if we set these aside, we achieve the transcendental ego, the self which is left over when common assumptions have been stripped away. This is a person. Much like you, she is full of much knowledge. She uses her understanding of the world to make quick judgments. But one day, for unspecified reasons, it is all gone. She knows nothing. But she is now able to experience the world as it was meant to. Husserl claimed that our awareness of the world, which is an intelligent and understanding awareness, could not be so unless we grasp the essences of things. However, people use preconceptions and memories to interpret the world. Husserl stated that not only do human bodies exist as part of the world, but also human persons exist, each having his own perceptions of his world. Other people enter our awareness of the world and constitute it in an entirely new way. Person number one has a very close t connection to a particular object. Her personal memories give it a meaning unique to her. Person number two has had past encounters with this particular, ob particular object as well, but this object has not impacted person two as it did with person one. It holds little value for person two. It is the same object, but it carries varying degrees of significance for each person. To wrap up, we should go back to Husserl's idea of pure experiences. There are three basic ideas. Number one, achieving reduction. This is the elimination of presuppositions. Number two, achieving transcendental ego. The self which is left over when common assumptions have been stripped away. And number three, achieving pure phenomenon. The experience through essence. In successful reduction, we are left with not a series of impressions, but the transcendental ego, the constituting agent of the world. We are left not with our ideas, but with our world, pure phenomenon. Ironically, we must become less worldly in order to better connect with our world. You're such a lovely